Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to buy NFTs on OpenSea using MetaMask. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is to go over to OpenSea.io and you will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Now what you need to do is to go over to this icon in the top right and click on it. You'll then see that you can connect your wallet and that the wallets you need to connect your account to needs to be one of those. Now there's quite a few available, but like I said, we're gonna go with MetaMask. You'll then get a pop-up or notification, and what you need to do is to fill in your password if you have not already logged in into your MetaMask account. To connect your MetaMask account with OpenSea, all you need to do is to select the account you would like to connect, and once you have selected the right account, you can go ahead and click on Next. Once again, all you need to do is to click on Connect, and you will then see that your OpenSea account and MetaMask account have been connected. Now if you have not installed the MetaMask extension already, to do this you need to go over to Google and then search for MetaMask extension. You can then press enter and go over to MetaMask.io where you will be able to click on download now. Then you want to go over to Chrome and click on install MetaMask for Chrome. I just got a comment of somebody asking me why do I need to log in into my MetaMask account to buy NFTs on OpenSea and why can't I just create an OpenSea account? Well this is because the NFT you buy will be transferred to your MetaMask account and it won't be on OpenSea. So there's no need for you to create your own OpenSea account because your NFT won't be kept on OpenSea. So now that that's out of the way, I will go ahead and show you how to actually buy an NFT on OpenSea. So what you need to do is to go over to OpenSea in the top left and click on it. You can then go ahead and click on Explore. Now if you already know which NFT you would like to buy, you can just go ahead and search for the NFT right here. However, if you're not sure, you can just scroll over to their website and look for any NFTs that you would like to buy. However, and I can't stress this enough, please don't just buy an NFT because it looks good. There's a lot of NFT projects out there right now that don't actually add any value and don't actually have fundamental reasons to be worth the amount that they're worth. Now of course there are NFTs out there that don't have any fundamental reason to be worth a lot of money. However they sometimes will be sold up to 10 million dollars or even more and the reason for this is because they have a lot of sentimental value. Like the stone that got sold for I think $200,000. The reason that it's worth that much is because it was one of the first NFTs to be created. However, if you just want to trade NFTs, all you need to focus on is to find an NFT that you think will be hyped up in the near future. So once you have found the NFT you would like to buy, there's two things you can do. The first thing you can do is to make an offer. So all you need to do is to click on make offer and you can then fill in the amount you would like to pay. Now to the right of the amount in WEETH or any other cryptocurrency that the NFT project does support, you'll see the amount is worth in dollars. You can also add an offer expiration date. This can be 3 days, 7 days, a month or even a custom date. And the last thing you need to do is to check this to agree to OpenSea's terms of service. And once you've done all that, you can just click on convert Ethereum. And if you would like to buy the NFT for the current price, in this case that would be $6,000 or 1.4 Ethereum. You can go ahead and click on buy now. You'll then have to again check the box to agree to OpenSea's terms of service. And you can then click on add funds. Now there's two ways to deposit funds into your account. This can be to deposit from an exchange or to buy with your card. So if you would like to deposit from an exchange, just click on that and you'll then see your Ethereum address. So you need to copy your Ethereum address and deposit your Ethereum onto this address. Now if you're not sure how this works, I'll give you an example on how to transfer Ethereum from Binance to your MetaMask account. Because like I said, you're not actually buying your NFTs with the funds on OpenSea. The funds will be from your MetaMask wallet and OpenSea is kind of functioning as the middleman. So once you're logged in into your account, in this case it's my Binance account, you need to search for a withdrawal button. On Binance, this button is located under the wallet section over on their Finance Spot page. So once you're on their Finance Spot page, you need to go over to the withdrawal button right here. You will then have to select the coin you would like to withdraw. In this case, that would be Ethereum. 
and you can then also go ahead and paste in your address. Now the next thing you need to do is to select the network you would like to use for your transfer. In this case that would be the Ethereum network and if you're not sure which chain or network to use, please go over to Google and search for something like which network supports transferring and then the name of the currency you would like to transfer. So I'll go ahead and select Ethereum. Now the next thing you need to do is to fill in the amount you would like to withdraw or transfer. And you can then also select if you want to withdraw from your spot wallet or your funding wallet. Now once you've done that, the last and final thing you need to do is to click on withdrawal. For me this button doesn't appear right now because I don't actually hold any Ethereum on Binance. Now the last thing I'll talk about in today's video is where to actually find your NFTs once you've bought them. So the first thing you need to do is to go over to OpenSea.io and you will then need to log in into your MetaMask wallet. So if you are not logged in already, you need to go over to this icon in the top right and click on it. You then need to select MetaMask and fill in your MetaMask password. Once you're logged in, all you need to do is to click on Profile and you will then be sent over to this page. And once you've bought an NFT, it will appear under Collected. But as you guys can see, for me it says no items to display because I have not bought any NFTs yet. If you've still got any questions left, please ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.